بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس اور ٹوڈیز ٹاپک فار دا ویڈیو از فسٹ پروگرام آف ٹربو سی اور سی لینگویج ہاؤ کوڈ وی رائٹ فسٹ پروگرام ان سی لینگویج اینڈ ہاؤ ٹو رائٹ سورس کوڈ دیٹ از کال سورس کوڈ مینس دا کمانڈ اینڈ انسٹرکشن وچ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو گیو ٹو دا کمپیوٹر اینڈ after that we will compile that program so how could we compile compile that program or run that program so our today's topic is first program of c language and first program of c language is that first of all we have to mention the header files as we have discussed in the previous videos that what are the different header files and the include reserve word is used to mention the header file number one in stdio standard input output header file and the other one is conio console input output header files header files have the different instructions and the functions definitions stored into the c language library and whenever the preprocessor the hash sign is called the preprocessor or the number sign that include the definition from the particular header file that is mentioned and that command we have used in our c language program and we have discussed in the previous uh, topics that void function is used and the main function is the main c language function that call all the functions a uh, definition from the header files and after that we will use a different statement and command of c language and for compli compiling the program we will use control plus f9 so student let's move we have to open the c language uh, programming language that is the ide of c language integrated development environment we have discussed in the previous videos ide ide means integrated development environment it means and they have everything the so the text editor the compiler and the linker all the things are stored on a one place that is called ide so right now we are in ide of c language and we are going to write the first program of c language and first of all we have to mention the header files as we have mentioned that the hash sign and after that like this you have to mention the hash sign and after that include and after that press space key and the less than sign after that mention the header file s t d i o dot h after that close the greater sign these are called angle brackets i have already mentioned the two header files that are going to include in my today's first program of c language and then you will write the wide wide main wide and then the curly bracket starting curly bracket that is the boundary line of the c language program after that the print statement p r i n t print f we have discussed the output statement is used for print f print f that is small bracket and inverted comma and what you are going to write you have to mention in the inverted commas means any text any special characters you want to print for example in the first program i want to print a just single line that is normally used in the c language first program hello world hello world or be safe be healthy after that i am going to close the inverted comma then i will close the small bracket and i will use the semicolon the end of statement mark in c language and then after that i will press the enter key and i will use a function that is called get ch that function is used to stop the output of the program so we can see the output of the program on the screen so for that purpose we will use the get ch get ch and the get ch e get ch does not display the character while the get ch e display the character which is pressed from the keyboard so i'm going to use just get ch 
it will get a single character and then it will come back to the source code program of the C language. Then the close curly bracket or the ending curly bracket mark, as I have mentioned that for compiling the C language program, we will use control plus F9. So we will see our program will start running or compiling. If there is no error, so output will appear on your screen. We can see there is an output, hello world, be safe, be healthy. So this is the output of the first C language program in which I just wanted to print a single line. And after that, you have to press any key. You will come back to the previous window. For example, again, I have run that program and I want to go back to the source code. So I again come back to the source code window where I have wrote the program instructions. So student, I hope that you have understood and you will apply these statements and commands in your program. And you in this way, you can make different programs to write your name, class, section, anything which you want to write by using the printf statement in C language program. So we will come with a new program, with a new video, so until that, Allah Hafiz, I'm going to signing out.